everybody. Welcome to Treasure Time. Treasure Time came about because I was a preschool teacher and my name was is Dresher and a little boy named Danny called me Mrs. Treasure because he couldn't sign, say my name. And we treasure times when we can read with special people in our lives. Also, you guys are all a treasure, and I'm wondering if you could sing that treasure song with me. You are a treasure, you are a gem, you are a special sparkle. Because this song is about you. I am a treasure. I am a gem. I am a special sparkle of life. I shine in my glory. I tell my own story. I am precious. I am unique. Thank you for singing with me. Today, we're going to think about everything that we're thankful for. We just talked about harvest and all the wonderful vegetables and fruits that we harvest. And this is a time of year to have, feel thankful. And we often have thank you celebrations at this time of year in different parts of the world. I'd like to read this book first about giving thanks. This is, book is by Jonathan London with paintings by Gregory Manchas. And this book is called Giving Thanks. Thank you, Mother Earth. Thank you, Father Sky. Thank you for this day. This is what my father says every morning, standing in the field near our house. Like his native friends, singers and storytellers, Dad believes that the things of nature are a gift and that in return, we must give something back. We must give thanks. Beautiful pictures. He gives thanks to the frogs and the crickets singing down by the creek and to all the tiny beings with six or eight legs weaving their tiny stories close to the earth. And did you know that bugs and insects are important? A grasshopper and a spider? That looks maybe like a little deer. He says thank you to chanterelles the wild mushrooms that smell like pumpkins. He says thank you to the trees that wave their arms and spin their leaves in the breeze. He says, thank you, fox, at a glimpse in the tall grass, the pointy ears, the bushy tail, dancing. He says, thank you to the deer 
who have passed this way, their tracks like two fingers pressed in the dirt, pointing towards the water. And there are the deer tracks. He gives thanks to the quail who flare, flare up and scatter and rejoin. He says, thank you, Jackrabbit, as it zigs and zags and jumps in leaps 25 feet through the air, racing a shadow. He says, thank you, Hawk, high in the sky, as it circles and cries, scree, scree, before it dives. He says, thank you, Grandfather Son, as it begins to sink beyond the hills. Thank you for this day. And he says, thank you, Grandmother Moon, for coming this way. To me, it's a little embarrassing to th say thanks to trees and things, but dad said, says it becomes a habit and it makes you feel good. Thank you stars, I say as we near home and the stars come out one by one as if from hiding. There were some, some beautiful pictures in that book and some beautiful things to think about. And I'm going to sing you a thank you song. Maybe you can sing along with the chorus. Thank you, world, for the wonders I see. Maybe we should see who it's by. It's by Kelsey Garrity Riley. And it has some different things. And I was looking at this page right here. And these are some different ways 
to that people say, thank you, let's just see if we can put that. In India, people say thank you like this, with their hands. Can you do that? In, in England, in Britain, people say thank you by turning their hand, by kind of almost blowing you a kiss. Thank you. In Thailand, people put their hands in prayer form and they also bend, bend their, bow their head. And in Japan, people stand up and bow. So a lot of people do sort of lean to the ground to say thank you in some countries. And Hawaii is really fun. This is how they say thank you. They put their three fingers in like this, reach their thumb out, and reach their pinky out. Can you do that? That's how you say thank you in Hawaiian. And there's another country, Africa, and it's very interesting because in Nigeria, people bend down to the ground to say thank you, like they do in a lot of other countries. But in Zimbabwe, they clap their hands and they dance and they are happy when they say thank you. And that's a different way of saying thank you. Can you think of anything to be thankful for? I'm going to look at this book. This book is called Thank You, Thank You, Thank You, written by Melissa Peck and illustrated by Kendall Antosh. And actually, this book has some things in it to be thankful for. But first, I'm going to sing you another thank you song by Rafi. And I want you to think what you might be thankful for. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Thanks for the sun in the sky. Thanks like your grandma, like your pets, and other things. And we're going to come back to this song. Thanks a lot, thanks a lot, thanks for the birds in the spring. fresh air that they give us. Trees are a thing to be thankful for. 
Thank you, thank you, thank you for the magical light shows, the moon and the stars that come out at night so it's not completely dark. And thank you for music, music to play tunes in our ears and we can wiggle and jive to it or music can help us be calm and feel peaceful. And music has wonderful sounds to brighten our life. Thank you for the sun, which shines most days and feels us, makes us feel warm both inside and out. Thank you for bees to pollinate our fruits and vegetables and insects are important. Thank you for birds, for your sweet, beautiful song. Birds sing us music too. And thank you, thank you for making me, me and you, you. Thank you for being us in this moment, in this life, in this body. So we have many things to be thankful for. And at this time of year, we also, we have celebrations for getting together and, and celebrating the harvest. And then we have celebrations to celebrate the end of the year. And this is a time of year when we thank people and we like to give them gifts in our celebrations. We want to show our love, show that we care, thank people for the things that they've done to us. And so we like to give them a gift. And often there is a celebration for giving gifts. In our country, it's Christmas. In other countries, it's Kwanzaa, Diwali, and many other kinds of celebrations at this thankful time of year when we give back. And I'd like to sing you one more song about giving a gift. A present from me to show
that you care about, that you want to say thank you to, even if it's a smile, even if it's helping, like doing the dishes, or sweeping the floor, or taking out the trash. Enjoy this holiday season. Be thankful for what you have. And give a gift of thanks to someone else.